one thing that can speed up your game a lot, and there's a paper in there in your packet, that if you understand how many points you have before the cut, in other words, you kept two, three, king, king. Why did you keep two, three, king, king? There's a paper that's called 1-3 up in the corner. It says 1-3. How to, how to uh, speed your card counting. If you kept the two, three, king, king, you kept it because you knew you had six, right? If you cut a nine, does it occur to you that it's still worth six? What are the cards that would change the two, three, king, king in count? Two, one, two, three, four, five, and any ten pointer. So if it's anything other than nose, you still got six. Now you can shuffle them around for a long while if you'd like. I mean, you can shuffle around a two, three, king, king for a long while with a six, seven, eight, or nine on the deck, and it's still, still six. So you might as well just take your six and forget the shuffling. <laughs> Now, there is a concept that's important to understand, and I, I think very often people that even played a lifetime miss this. If you think of the deck of cards, 52 cards, and you take a 1-4 and a 2-3, those all make 5, don't they? 1-4 and 2-3. Well, that's 8 cards now that make a nickel, and there's 4 fives that are worth a nickel. And there's 16 10 point cards that are worth a dime. How many cards is that? 36 cards. That's 70%. 70% of the deck is nickels and dimes. If you, if you understand that, it's a pretty important concept. That 70% of the time, the hand is likely to be a combination of nickels and dimes. We're going to show you some ways to take advantage of that later on in the pegging game. But it's a concept that you need to have clear in your mind that 70% of this deck is worth 5 and 10, nickels and dimes. 36 cards out of 52. Now, why is a pair's worth 2? What's 3 of a kind worth? Why is three of a kind worth six? Because there's three pairs. There is a chart in there that shows a triangle. If you think about that, it's kind of easy to visualize, a triangle. And if you've got three, three sixes, there's a pair this way, a pair this way, and a pair that way. So three of anything is six. Three of anything is six because there's three pairs, three times two is six. When we get to four of a kind, you'll find that there's six pairs. Now, when you th and we're thinking of four of a kind, we don't do a triangle, we do a square. Okay? One pair, two pairs, three pairs, four pairs, diagonal, five pairs, six pairs. Six times two is twelve. That's why four of a kind is twelve. It's because there are six pairs. How much is a double run worth? Eight. Any three card double run is worth eight points. It doesn't make any difference if it's a one, two, three, a four, five, six, a six, seven, eight, a ten jack queen. If it's a three card run with any of the cards doubled, it's eight. Plus any fifteens. They're all eight. If it's a four card run, what's it worth? It's worth ten. Doesn't make any difference if it's one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten jack, queen, king. If it has a double in it, it's worth ten. So a double run of four is worth ten, a double run of three is worth eight. And so when you're counting your hands, you can speed it up a lot if you start with eight or ten. If you've got a double run of four for ten, then you add the fifteens to it and You've got the hand counted. And if you're really doing good, you had it counted anyway already. As soon as that starter cut come, come over, you knew what it added to your hand. Okay. What's a triple run? 
Okay, and a triple run. Could you have a triple run if it was a run of four? No. No. <laughs> it's impossible. It's impossible to have four cards with a triple. So the only time there can be a triple run is when it's a three card run. And it's got three ones or three nines or three queens. It doesn't make any difference what the three of a kind is. If it's three cards in a row with a triple in there, it's worth 15 plus any 15 twos, which there might be. So it's worth 15 with any plus any 15 twos. But if you see that a three card run with a triple, it's 15. No. So you could have, what do we call it? You could have a double double run. What is it? Some people call it a quadruple run. Some people just say to hell with it, it's 16. I don't care what you call it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what it is, it's a three card run with two pairs. In other words, you've got a one, two, three, and a one, 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 two, three, <coughs> you cut a two or you cut a three. Or it could be six, six, seven, eight, and you cut a seven or an eight. You got two pairs in it, three card run with two pairs, so it's 16 plus the 15s. 